hello everyone welcome back to this video series on clinical SAS Adam programming so in this video series we are taking a look at the, some of the commonly created variables in ADSL dataset in this video we will see some of the variables related to end of treatment and end of study a subject who is participating in a clinical trial can choose to complete and discontinue the study or if for the ongoing subjects the status will be ongoing the status will be at two levels one is at the treatment status and the second one is at study level which is study status so we have variables related to those so first we will take a look at the variables which are related to study status so we have a variable called EOS STT which is which stands for end of study status and then if a subject ends or either he can complete or discontinue the study so for those subjects we will have a date so that date is captured in a variable called EOS date which is called end of study date and if a subject chooses to discontinue the study or uh, if we have a variable to capture the reason for discontinuation so that variable is DCS REAS which is reason for discontinuation from study similar to these three variables we have three more variables which are related to treatment status so the first one is EOT STT which is end of treatment status and EOT DT which is end of treatment date and the last one is DCT RES so reason for discontinuation from treatment so this information is derived using the data collected in disposition data set of SGTM domains so let us take a look at the derivation algorithm given for all these variables first we will begin with EOS STT so using DS data set check if a record exists in SDTM DS with DS cat is equal to disposition event and DS S cat is equal to end of study so disposition event and end of study so if a record does not exist then populate as ongoing so we will capture the subject status in disposition when a subject completes or discontinues if a subject is ongoing in the study we will not have a record in disposition so we are checking for the presence of the record if it is present then we will use some other algorithm if it is absent we will use a different algorithm so if a record is absent that indicates that the subject is ongoing in the study and else if the record exists then we need to check for some other information that is DSD code if DSD code is equal to completed then populate as completed else populate as discontinued so if DSD code is having any value other than completed then we will have to call that subject as discontinued because in DSD code the completed keyword is used to indicate the completion otherwise we will populate the reason for discontinuation in DSD code so that information is being translated into a value of discontinued in EOS STT so let us take a look at the derivation for EOS DT so using DS dataset populate using DS STDTC of SDTM DS dataset where DS cat is equal to disposition event and DS S cat is equal to end of study if you take a look at the filter conditions provided for EOS STT and EOS DT they are the same so technically the information from the same record is being used for EOS DT and EOS STT as well so it doesn't end there the same information the same record would be used even for populating DC S rays so we have discussed just now that a value of completed would be used in DSD code when the subject completed the study otherwise the reason for discontinuation is populated in DSD code so wherever DSD code is not completed it is nothing but the reason why a subject discontinued from the study so we use that information to populate DCS trees so similarly we have EOT STT, EOT DT and EO uh, DCT trees but instead of DS SCAT is equal to end of study we would use DS SCAT is equal to end of treatment otherwise the rest of the derivation remains the same so DSS cat is equal to end of study for end of study related variables 
and ds scat is equal to end of treatment for end of treatment related variables now let us take a look at the data and try to manually identify these variables for these subjects so we have five subjects 1001 to 1005 in this example data and now let us take a look at the disposition data and then try to populate the end of study related variables first and then move on to end of treatment related variables so for end of treatment related variables we need to filter for ds cat is equal to disposition event and then ds cat is equal to end of study so i am filtering those so we have information for three subjects 1001 1002 and 1003 let us try to populate the variables derived variables in our form output so evos stt so evos stt it will be populated as ongoing if the subject doesn't have a record in disposition with the filter condition we do not have a record for 1004 and 1005 in disposition data with the dss cat is equal to end of study so it would be ongoing for 1004 and 1005 so now for the subjects who has a record in disposition for end of study we would use the information from dsd code if it is dsd code is equal to completed then end of study status is also completed so for our subject 1001 we have it as completed so for other two subjects there is a reason other than completed so which means the subject discontinued so if you take a look at the values also they look like the reasons of discontinuation first is loss to follow up and the next one is adverse event for subject 1002 and 1003 now the status in end of study variable is discontinued so let us populate discontinued so what is evos evos dt for subjects who have a record it is nothing but the date from dsstd tc so let us copy all these three and then populate it on subjects so for the subjects who discontinued or completed they have a end of study date and for the subjects who are ongoing do not have or will not have an end of study date so and the next variable uh, related to end of study status is the discontinuation uh, study reason so let us check the disposition data set again so it is equivalent to the value from dsd code where dsd code is not completed so for subject 1002 and 1003 the reasons are loss to follow up and adverse event respectively let us populate those variables so if you see subject status is clearly evident that discontinued and reason for discontinuation is loss to follow up and adverse event so now let us populate end of treatment related variables in the same fashion so let us go back to disposition data remove all the existing filters filter for ds scat is equal to end of treatment and all the records have disposition event in ds scat so let us take a look at the data for the available subjects so we have records available for all four subjects 1001 to 1005 4 but do not have a record in disposition data set for 1005 so the EOT STT for subject 1005 as per the derivation algorithm provided is ongoing so for the other subjects it will be based on the value present in DST code variable so for 1001 and 1002 it is completed so let us populate it as completed and then if you take a look at the variable uh, dsd code values for 1003 and 1004 it is adverse event and even for 1004 it is completed so let us populate it as completed for 1004 and then let us come back to 
1003. So for 1003, the subject does not have a value of completed in DSD code. It gets translated into discontinued in end of sorry all these variables should have been in EOTSTT so yeah let us populate it that way and then now let us populate EOTDT so EOTDT is nothing but the DSSTDT value from the end of treatment record so for subjects 1001 to 1004 we can directly copy over the values and populate it them here and then for DCT raise, so it would be populated only for the subjects who are discontinued. So as per EOT STT, it is 1003 is the only subject who discontinued. Let us take a look at the value in DSD code for 1003. So for 1003, the reason for discontinuation is adverse event. So we have all the information populated discontinuation for reason for of treatment is adverse event so this is how we can populate or try to understand the status variables manually so now let us see how to programmatically derive this so first we'll take a look at the derivation of variables related to end of study so the primary record that needs to be used from sdtm ds is DS, DS cat is equal to disposition event and DSS cat is equal to end of study. So we are filtering that record. It will be one record per subject when we filter this way based on the SDTM disposition structure. And then, so DSSTDTC on this subsetted record is nothing but the EOSDT for our subject. So we are creating or converting it into numeric format. And then we are creating our DS, DCS trees and US STT variables. So wherever DS decode is not is equal to completed, the decode value present on that record is nothing but the reason for discontinuation. So we are assigning that value to this. And the status is discontinued because if we have a reason other than not completed, the subject has actually discontinued. So we are populating the status as discontinued. And else if DSD code is equal to completed, so we are setting the status to null, uh, setting the status to completed. And then at the end, we are keeping only the required variables from this data set. Similar processing is done for EOT01, but using DSSCAT is equal to end of treatment. And then at the end, we are keeping only the required records. So we need to bring this information back into our demographic data set. For that, we are just sorting the records based on the values in subject ID variables for all the three data sets. So here demographics, end of study related variables and end of treatment related variables are being merged onto DM using subject ID values as the key variables. And then if we have seen the specification, so we had to populate it as ongoing, both the end of study status and end of treatment status as ongoing when the required record is absent. So here we are doing the derivation where the records are present. We can check for the absence of a record by using this logic. If a subject, if this we are using this n is equal to data set option to create the temporary variables in DM for the records coming from DM and in OS for the records coming from EOS01 and in EOT for the records coming from EOT01. So if a subject is present in DM but is not present in end of study, then we are populating end of study status as ongoing. So this is how we can check for the absence of a record with a particular filter condition. Similarly, if a subject is present in demographics but not in end of treatment related data set, then for that subject, we are assigning the text ongoing to EOT STT. So this is how we can programmatically derive our end of treatment and end of study related variables.